Brittany is one of those people that she's very comfortable being in the world outside of her drag. Absolutely. And not all women feel that way. Well, well, because here's the thing. This, welcome to my face. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing. This is my face, bitch. I, I know. You know, like there's I've not. I've made peace with it. <laughs> <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? You know, what did you, I saw your tip. <laughs> By the way, if you don't follow Britney's TikTok, it's really amazing. She is the queen of TikTok. And the other day you posted one where someone said you looked like the actor from um, uh, Young, Young Frankenstein. Frankenstein. You can say it, Marty Feldman. And you <laughs> said, Marty Feldman, let me just check on this. And you looked up the picture of Marty Feldman, who, by the way, is wall-eyed. Two eyes looking in completely different directions. To put it nicely, wall-eyed. Wall-eyed, which is fine. I, I, I think we need to talk more about people having... Not everyone's eyes both look in the same direction. You know and what? And it's fine. And that's a privilege to have it's, your eyes look in the same direction. It's fine. I'm not a shallow person. If your eyes don't look in the same direction, I still see you. Right. That's not I how see, I meant I it. I see you that's in your how I, meant it. <laughs> I see you and you see someone else too. That's not how I meant it. I really meant it like I see you. <laughs> and you see everyone. Thing. Try to do something nice on the channel. No, being wall-eyed, I think, is a secret superpower. A hundred percent. By the way, a lot of people can be wall-eyed on accident. Um, Courtney Act, and chime in, Courtney, if you're here. She <laughs> has the ability to become wall-eyed. She says sometimes if she looks at her iPhone too close, her eyes will go like this. I can do that too. But, yeah. you know, it was a jarring realization for me to have my followers point out just sort of sitting, your eyes go two different ways. And I was like, that is crazy. You're like, why aren't they ever like, you know who you look like? Sophia Loren. Like, I'm why is it saying, never that? The yellow M&M. Uh, because they love to see me suffer. <laughs> they really do. How do you think I feel? I've lost, let's see, I'm 100, I lost like 25 pounds. Hey. And it's one thing to be like, you look great. It's another thing to be like, I used to look at you and throw up. <laughs> and lately, I just want to throw up. Uh, exactly. So good for you. No, exactly. It's yeah. like, it's like, you know, I used to not think you were human. <laughs> And, you know, in full drag with your extensions and lashes, makeup professionally done. Yeah. B you might pass for a man, a human man. Yes! And you're like, I did. Oh, my God. I you did a TikTok it. podcast, the I official hope... TikTok podcast. Yeah. And girl, no one listened to it. Well, it's hard. I mean, podcasting is hard because it's a very it saturated thing. Yep. Katya and I, luckily, I don't know what we do right here, but we just try not to overthink it. We just try to keep doing it. And that's it. the beauty. It's the magic of just listening to two friends talk. And y'all are like, mentally, I would say not all there or well. So that definitely helps the sort of dynamic. The kicker is, over time, she's become the stable one. <laughs> that's wild. Like, as one supreme grows stronger, the other one grows weaker. Like, she used to be like... She was eight years older than me, uh -huh. and she was like more famous than me, and like, but so crazy uh -huh. and so up and down in her life that uh -huh. I was always like, oh, I'm the young, ambitious one who keeps us on the rails, right. and she's like the wild one. Yeah. And now I'm like, she's a homeowner who's sober who just wants to like watch movies. Wild. And now I'm like, could we carve out some time to cry today? <laughs> you know, she's like, are you calling me to cry again? Like, so <laughs> she's the normal one, and I'm the crazy one. She's the supreme. I guess the fuck. The ch she's the Chaco Taco Supreme. Exactly. I That's, was going to say the Supreme, and today's special guest is Jessica Lang. <laughs> I w could you imagine? If I she would walked in die. and said, "Get the hell out of my chair, you bald." F I would. I say sorry again. <laughs> <laughs> you would get up. You'd say sorry. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> I'm, wait, I'm so sorry, actually. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I was with Juno Birch, friend of friend of you, friend of, course, of me. Of course, of course. I was with Juno Birch. We were at a drag show, and the person on the microphone went. <laughs> Juno was in like a little jacket with like a little, you know, like a, a 2000s Fergie, like newsboy hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a big baggy Fergie hat. I don't know what to call it. And the person on the microphone goes, that man over there. And she's <laughs> pointing at me. And Juno goes. And I was like, she's obviously pointing at me, not you. But I think somebody could walk up and say, move you bald. And you would go received. Heard it. Uh, yeah, Thank you. I would say I'm sorry I was in the way. Yeah. Yeah. I so what have you been to be up to, way. gal? Girl. Well, I'm doing my show, which, um, Listen, and we need to just put it out there into the universe. I've been saving you. You don't know this and your team doesn't know either as the special guest at the end for my medieval talk show. It's been like, uh, it's so funny because I feel like I haven't even talked to you about this, but everyone on my team, I'm like, okay, so Trixie's going to be like one of the last episodes of the season. So we can lock that in. I haven't mentioned it you, to you. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, which is how I booked this yesterday. Can you come in tomorrow? On my way. <laughs> yeah. And then I think you text, are you going to be in hair and makeup? Did you text me that? Um, oh. when? 
yesterday. Sorry, I just haven't. I have an Apple Watch. Is so. that the pizza delivery coming? Can I tell you this is my third or fourth Apple Watch? I what break them and lose them. them. They you have to plug them in at night, and I leave them in hotels. <gasps> oh and then they, shit! And then when I leave and call, they can't find them. Oh, of course. Or I smash them. But this one's supposed to be like titanium, so it's supposed to be unkillable. I, I called titanium. Sia and I checked. Period. Yeah. <laughs> you called the Pitch Perfect cast. Yeah, I called Sia and I checked <laughs> up on her. So what was that? Great. I just talked to her recently, actually. She, um, she's she's alive. I said, what was that? Oh, Not, oh um, how Sia. <laughs> it was work, work, um, work text about something you and I just filmed together. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. With so much fun. Brittany and I just did something cool coming up. So I've been seeing so many clips on those, uh, your medieval talk show. Yeah, b- the rounds on tiktok and i'm so like because this has been my kind of baby for a long time like because it takes so long to produce i'm completely self-funding this show we have no one backing it it's living on my youtube channel because i wanted this to kind of be like my chicken shop date my hot ones like this is my show that celebrities come on and orville was the first guest of course of course the way we use and abuse him girl the way i call him in for any sort of heterosexual credibility (laughs) Because cool people like I him. I don't have it. Celebrities like him. Fashion people like him. Exactly. Meanwhile, you and I are like, hey, will you come dumpster dive in our show? Please. I know you're at Fashion Week. I know you're at the Grammys. No, it's so... Can you so, come eat with me? It's so humbling to ask him to. I'm, I know. Literally, I'm like, I know you're at the like... <laughs> uh, what the... I saw him at uh, the Christian Cowan show in New York. And I was like, I know you're literally walking the runway. Oh, I know. But could you come film this in this back alley, like, studio in Hollywood? Yeah. Also, I have no money to pay you and there's no dressing room. And he's like... When I have friends who have private Instagrams, I'm like, why? They're like, oh, because I'm a school teacher. And I'm like, oh, when you have certain jobs, it does... You don't want people to know what you did that weekend or whatever. Yeah. Or maybe you just don't want people you work with to know that much about you, which is also fine. And that's honestly, hey, I got fired because people knew too much about me. So that's true. What can you do? And you've been fired like 17, 18 times. A million times. times. I've been fired a million times. (laughs) That's so heartwarming, though, because like getting fired is so humbling. But like when someone you look up to has also gone through that, it's like period. Pre being Trixie full time, I was fired four different times and four different jobs. Four different times, majorly, and cried. Of course. What's funny is now my reputation in the in the world is you're like the hardest working person. You have ten careers. Oh, how the turntable just and I'm like, well, why don't you tell that to everyone who ever fired me? <laughs> why don't you tell that to Mister Ulta? Yeah, but to be honest, I didn't ever gel with like if you're gonna work at Macy's, uh, if you clock in three minutes late, three uh, two times in a row, you're automatically terminated. I'm yep. like, what are we doing here? Yeah, girl, what I kind used of work to go. Place is this? No, 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 no. I used to work at an insurance agency. And I hated it and was miserable and wanted to die. I would do, uh, because you have two like state mandated breaks you have to take a day for 15 minutes, like during the day at any time. I would milk that. I'd go to the bathroom and I would take like 25 minute breaks because that's my me time. At one point, someone came into the women's bathroom, knocked on the stall and said, Brittany, shut up. And I said, I'm sitting there on my phone like this. Uh huh. She goes, you're 10 minutes over your break. You need to get back to the desk. I said, I'm going to put a bullet in my skull. What about that? Th- have you thought about that? I literally went back to my desk and I was like, I'm like on my secret little uh, incognito window looking up jobs on well, the clock. On the flip side, too many people overly abuse things like that, of which course. is why companies have to make laws like that. I get it, that. Because we but- all work with that one who is no less than 15 minutes late every time. And I am not a late person. Yeah. So I'm like, girl, what's going on there? Yeah. You know where you live. Chronically And you know late. where you work. And you know how much time it takes. Right. So what's going on? Right. You're abusing it. You're abusing it. And that way, when you are late, you can walk into work guilt-free because that's not you. Everyone exactly. knows like, oh, you're never late. It's fine. If exactly. It's, if everyone else, if you're 15 minutes late every day, that means an, you're getting an hour of work a week unpaid. With a Starbucks in your hand and a fresh blowout. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Being like, sorry, traffic. <laughs> it's like... Or they walk in, sorry, traffic, and their nails are still drying. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you can't. Can you get that for me? When I worked at Mac, it was hard because you would have to have like, you have to wear like a minimum of two lip products, three eye products, Ugh. skin products. You have to have the perfume on that the store sells. And you have your nails painted with a lacquer that Mac sells. Oh my God. And if, you know, like knowing it's like, oh, I'm supposed to clock in at noon and my nails aren't done. It'd be like 1158. I'm like. <sighs> <laughs> it's shaking. Yes. It's all over it, your skin. 
Yeah, still fired though. How, how, how did you cry when you got fired? Oh, bald. Me too. Yeah, it's something. So, it's a little bit like getting pulled over for me, where it doesn't matter what it is. I'm crying. Yeah, because what did I do wrong? I'm sorry. It's yeah, that. I don't like. I I know I'm supposed to be like a drag queen and be like F- the rules, F- noise. Be your. <laughs> I like. I don't like breaking rules. I'm scared of getting in trouble. Right, and me too. I'm scared of like my worst nightmare is that I like take one too many items into a dressing room. <laughs> You know, and I'm like, oh God, they know I'm in here. <laughs> Fuck. They, they're like, or TSA. I'm always like, there's a bomb in my bag, I, and I forgot I put it in there. Girl, the uh, the T is the other T is when they swap your, they take that little tissue and swap your hands. <laughs> You're like they know. I said, what are what are you doing? And they go, well, checking for explosives. I said, this is a hand. <laughs> this is an empty hand. You think this is a stick of dynamite? Bitch? Yeah. Bitch. Talking about. What are you talking about? We have to rethink TSA. I think TSA employees... TSA needs to go to the red table with Jada. <laughs> <laughs> like, we need to, like, condense and rethink and re-strategize. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not keeping me safe. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not. You're and turning I'm, me into the villain. A hundred percent. I think that uh, we have demonized the TSA employees so much that they don't care if we live or die now. And they're actually just trying to help us. Their job is to keep us safe. Because she yelled at me and now I'm going to cry. I We went to Universal and we got swept up in the magic, I think. I'm telling you, bitch. We bought wands. Adults buying wands. No, you did not. Yeah, we on a date together. <laughs> no, you did. That's actually cute. But looking at it now, it's like. But one time we also went to Disney and we bought those lanyards and put pins on them. Yes. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. It is, right? Yes. Well, consider the source, right? Well, this is a safe space. Uh, this is a safe space. I'm also not well. So right. I I love that. You know how many pairs of Mickey ears I have? How many? 14. You're kidding. I'm not joking. I buy a new one every time. I buy a new one every time. <laughs> the last time, <clears throat> I'm choking. I'm so excited. The last time I had my Pirates of the Caribbean shirt on and my Pirates of the Caribbean ears on and my Pirates of the Caribbean shoes on. Love. I have a problem. It's so fun. And I love spending money on things like that because it's like, this brings me joy in the moment. And totally. then when I move and I say, oh, I have two closets, it's like, maybe I need to see someone. Right. I have two Disney stories. One is there's a drag race queen. It's, oh, and she went to Disney and you know how they, they put your name in your hat, yes. they embroider it, but they won't do swear words. They, you can't, oh. you can't go be like, my name is bitch. Like you can't do that. <laughs> so she went in and said, you know, she's brown uh-huh. and I think she used that to her advantage. And she said, my name is Sadamite. And she oh, has my. a Mickey Mouse hat that says sodomite. <laughs> that she watched them stitch into it. <laughs> and I don't want to out her because I, I want her to have the freedom to scam in the future. But yeah, sodomite. <laughs> sodomite is crazy. 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 It's Italian. Yeah. My other Disney. Oh, what was my other Disney store? Oh, you know, they have the parades about mm, 16 times a day at yep. Disney. You Every know, 30 as soon minutes. as you're trying to get to somewhere, th- there's a street shut down. Forget it. But, um, what is it? Uh, Midtown USA. No, uh, Main Street USA. Yep, yep. Like colonial women dancing. Yep. I don't. I understand when it's like Winnie the Pooh dancing. Why is it like <laughs> suffragettes? <laughs> Why is that at Disney? It's like it's like reenactment actors. Yeah, like, it, like it's like Civil War reenactment. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I don't get it at all. And they're like lip syncing. I, I want to know where the music's coming from. They have little like J- JBL yeah. speakers up their p- I don't even know they where have, the music is coming. <laughs> no idea. But one time it was like the color, The it was like Festival of Lights or something gay yes, called. Yes, world, like, world of color. Yes, world of color. Yep. And I'm wearing a pink sequin uh, hoodie. Okay. Because I was just gay. And right. um, there was a time in my life where I wanted to look gay and I wanted people to look at me. Of and course. now I don't want people to notice me at all. <laughs> exactly. But, I'm in a pink sequin hoodie and this mom with a kid is dancing, watching the parade. And then she turns and looks at me and goes to her daughter and goes, look, 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 look. Oh, I thought you were in the parade. And I was just in a pink hoodie. I said, you think I was in the parade? No. We should do a VIP tour with your money. <laughs> I'm self-funding, but got network money. No, you know what? We know what Katya and I do. We go to Disney and we we, we like literally like hookers. We, well, you let me wait do it again. for them to no, notice. No, <laughs> well, Katya and I literally like prostitutes. We go, we stand by a ride, we like hike up our skirts, and we're like, "Ooh, you're so tall." And we wait for some <laughs> in a red coat to be like, "Can I just take you in the back?" <laughs> I'm dead serious. The way they do it to me. Your girl. Too. I may as well be with. 
with y'all that literally we, me and drew we go and we're like we should just go wait and we'll go over there and be like what do y'all want to do next whatever oh, yeah. and we oh, wait for somebody to notice yeah you start flipping your hair and being like period um yeah yeah just no, you know what's humbling though when they're like oh my god i love you <laughs> I'm like, oh, you don't care if I live or die. No, we have lucked out. Never. I had an employee take me in a few rides. I even had an employee take me one time. I I have his number. I texted him. He got me to Club 33, and I got to have lunch there. Shut up, yeah. And I was like, is it weird that I I only know you because you're a fan of me and you met me at Disney? But if you're really offering, my partner and I will go to Club 33 with you. Yeah. So we went on a double date with this a fan who works at Disney who was super nice. How fun. It was really fun. But um, I, I really am just like holding out for a hero at Disney. Yep. Like I'm waiting for a homosexual In to walk by light. and go, oh! and I'm like, that's right. <laughs> what do you got for me? They see me with my lanyard, with my six Disney pins. <laughs> with your pins and your ears what and your What we're not wand. doing is going on cars. You don't like cars? Mama, let me tell you what cars is. You like my leg hair? It's been shocking me the whole time. It's ha- I have been not able to get a booking at European Wax Center for three weeks. Have you been able to get a booking at the Bic Center <laughs> using a razor in your bathroom? You look like Hagrid. <laughs> um, it's bad. It's bad. I but thought, if you, you, shave, had, you, can't I thought you had crocheted leggings on. No, but that's actually going to be part of my leg. You look at this sock tan. There's a lot going on under the knee right here. I'll just do this. This is literally, it's like I look down and I'm like, <laughs> me. I know. Anyway. Well. My, yeah, my I, legs aren't even that hairy. Oh, I know. It's tough. I see you looking at me. <laughs> you're, you're disgusted in horror and shock. <laughs> um, I don't like the cars ride because to get to Anaheim, California, you sit and stop and go traffic. Well, yeah, but it's and not cars. And then the cars ride is sitting in a car, Mary, pretending to do it on a fake road. That's what we did on the way to Disney. It's Radiator Springs racers. You b- You don't get it. You don't get the cinematic universe. I've also never seen cars. Is that part of it? Yeah. <laughs> What is actually wrong with you? You've never experienced the magic of Owen Wilson and Larry the Cable Guy together as a duo. I've never seen Cars. Ugh. I gotta watch Cars, huh? You know, you would love it because it's like small town America, like scary small poor. town. <laughs> poor. Just say poor white poor. trash. Poor. Say poor. Yeah. Y'all are poor. Poor. Um, I don't like that ride. I was wondering what else at Disney. My favorite one, I hate to say, I think Indiana Jones turns it. I get that. It's like being in a movie. Yeah, I get that. You know, when they just redid it. So the ball actually rolls towards you and it looks like you're going to die and then you go under it. And then Indy's like hanging from the rope. It's so, and oh, he I've could get that. it. That animatronic of Indiana Jones, horny. That one's amazing. Hot. It really looks like him. It really does. People animatronics are fine with me. Okay. Animals really spook me. You have like a phobia. Yeah. All right, guys. Did we clock that? Everybody knows. Everyone's going to start sending you about it. edits of Fri- Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, if, I'll tell you this. We talked about this on every media. <laughs> My nightmare. Mm. That Matterhorn ride. I was about to say that's one of my top three. (laughs) It's the thought of this. It starts with you going up a track and you hear it roar and you hear it. It's scary. The premise of the ride is that the the matter, the, um, he's going to get you. He's going to get you. is chasing you. Yeah. He's going to get you, girl. (laughs) You go around certain corners where he has red eyes and reaches out. Are you f***ing with We're not doing that. Rides are fun. (laughs) No, it's so much fun. I'll go. Every time, and you know what's even scarier? You ride it at night, and you know there's two oh. tracks. There's two tracks. One of them is oh. like bunny slope, and the other one is like black diamond, triple diamond. Like it, the turns are oh, oh, and it's like going six times faster than the normal one. That's my favorite. That's one. what I'm saying. It's so it, it's very I jerky. Love it. So yeah, I've I love slipped it. a disc, like I'm immobilized, <laughs> and then this thing is reaching toward me, and I'm just like defense. Ah. Yeah, defenseless. I can't do that. I can't be a part of that. <laughs> And then they yell at you as you're getting off the ride. A terrifying ah, ah, ah. Yeah. And the music too, like it's this like um, Swedish, like I don't know, yep. d- like polka. I polka guess. Polka music leading to death. I'm obsessed with it. The vibes are incredible.